Hi, welcome back. You are watching the session Storage vMotion. With Storage vMotion, you can migrate a virtual machine and its disk files from one data store to another while the virtual machine is still running. You can choose to place the virtual machine and all its disk files in a single location or select separate locations for the virtual machine configuration file and virtual disk files. The virtual machine does not change execution host during a migration with storage vMotion. During storage vMotion, you can transform virtual disks from thick provision laser zero or thick provision eager zero to a thin provisions data store or vice versa. You can use storage vMotion to move virtual machines off of a storage device to allow maintenance or reconfiguration of the storage device without virtual machine downtime. You can use storage vMotion to manually redistribute virtual machines or virtual disks to different storage volumes to balance capacity or improve performance. When you want to refresh your storage arrays, you can use storage vMotion to migrate your workloads from old array to a new array. You can also use storage vMotion to migrate virtual machines when you upgrade data stores from VMFS2 to VMFS5. Or you want to place your VM on another highly efficient data store for better performance. In that case, you can use storage tiering. Now let us understand how storage vMotion works. The virtual machine working directory is copied by VPXA to the destination data store. The working directory, also called VM home folder, consists configuration file or VMX file, VM kernel swap files, log files, and snapshot files. First, vSphere performs a bulk copy of the disk contents from the source data store to the destination data store. A shadow virtual machine is started on the destination data store using the copied files. Because the shadow VM does not yet have a virtual disk, it sits idle waiting for the copying of the virtual machine disk files to complete. Storage vMotion first creates the destination disk. Then a mirror driver is inserted into the data path between the VM and the underlying storage to mirror writes of already copied blocks to the destination. IO mirroring process transports any additional changes that occur to the virtual disk because of the guest's ongoing modifications. Storage vMotion mirrors IO only to the disk region that has already been copied by the bulk copy process. Guest writes to a disk region that the bulk copy process has not yet copied or not mirrored because changes to this disk region will be copied by the bulk copy process anyway. In a single pass, a copy of the virtual machine disk files is completely to the target data store while mirroring the I.O. If both the source and destination data stores are on the same array that is capable of using vSphere storage API for array integration or VAAI and the source host has access to the destination data store, vSphere will intelligently offload the task of copying the disk content to the array using VAAI. Array integration, the data mover can use API primitives to offload operations to the array if possible. Storage vMotion invokes a fast suspend and resume of the virtual machine to transfer control over to the idling shadow virtual machine on the destination data store. After the fast suspend and resume completes, the old home directory and VM disk files are deleted from the source data store. Now the data store migration has been completed. vSphere 5.5 allows up to four parallel disk copies per storage vMotion operation. When you migrate a virtual machine with five VMDK files, storage vMotion copies first four disks in parallel, then starts the next disk copy as soon as one of the first four finishes. To reduce performance impact on other virtual machines sharing the data stores, parallel disk copies only apply to disk copies between distinct data stores. 
This means that if a virtual machine has multiple VMDK files on data store 1 and data store 2, parallel disk copies only happen if destination data stores are data store 3 and data store 4. Let us use an example to clarify the process. Virtual machine VM1 has four VMDK files. VMDK1 and VMDK2 are on data store 1, whereas VMDK3 and VMDK4 are on data store 2. The VMDK files are moved from data store 1 to data store 4 and from data store 2 to data store 3. VMDK1 and VMDK3 are migrated in parallel while VMDK2 and VMDK4 are queued. The migration process of VMDK2 is started the moment the migration of VMDK1 is complete. Similar for VMDK4 as it will be started when the migration of VMDK3 is complete. vSphere 5.5 allows two storage vMotion operations concurrently per host and you can make eight concurrent storage vMotions per data store. Now let us look at enhanced vMotion. Enhanced vMotion allows you to combine a vMotion and storage vMotion into a single operation. It enables a shared nothing vMotion, that is, without the need for expensive shared storage such as a SAN or a NAS. Enhanced vMotion allows VM migration between clusters in large data centers which may not have a common set of data stores between them. Local storage Mixed shared storage or standard shared storage are all valid options to use when combining vMotion with storage vMotion. The only requirement for enhanced vMotion is that both hosts must share the same layer 2 network. Enhanced vMotion can only be used with vSphere web client. It's not available if you are using vSphere client. Enhanced vMotion can be used for scenarios where both hosts use local data stores. In this case, first storage vMotion is done because storage vMotion takes longer to complete. Then the memory copy is started. All data transfers over the same vMotion VM kernel port. The other scenario would be such as one host uses local data stores and the other host uses SAN data stores. And lastly, enhanced vMotion can be used in scenarios where both hosts use a shared SAN. In this situation, data transfer is quite different. The VM memory data transfer is carried over the vMotion network as usual, wherein storage vMotion uses storage network to migrate storage data. Enhanced vMotion is a manual process. DRS and storage DRS do not leverage enhanced vMotion. Maximum of two concurrent enhanced vMotions per host can happen. Enhanced vMotion count when considering concurrent limitations for both vMotion and storage vMotion. Enhanced vMotion leverages multi-NIC when available. Enhanced vMotions are more expensive and thus that must be factored in while making migration decisions. Neither DRS and storage DRS leverage enhanced vMotion technology in 5.1. We have reached to the end of the session now. Let us see what we have covered. We have covered about storage vMotion and use cases for storage vMotion. We have also covered about how storage vMotion works and its requirements. We have also seen the examples of how parallel disk copy happens and we have learned about enhanced vMotion. This concludes our presentation about storage vMotion. Thank you.